Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of Never Read, where I talk about comic books. Obviously, I've never read before. So, we have today is another Marvel title, because we're doing the Marvel stuff first. And today, we're going to be talking about a book called The Great Lake Adventures. Let's go. Okay, so for this episode, we're obviously talking about The Great Lake Adventures. I got issue one, and then since I'll be going to record this video way sooner, but it's not too bad because I got issue two since then, uh, so we can do more to talk about. Uh, this is a great series. Uh, I like it because I like comics like Great Lake Avengers slash like a lot of characters you probably most people don't even read or don't care about. It's more kind of the weirder, goofy characters who old characters you don't take seriously. I don't know. I like them. I've read Slapstick. It was a fun little series. I have not read issue six because five hasn't came out yet. And I want to read issue five before issue six. But digress. I'm not talking about that series. But yeah, I like these little series. And this one, I feel like if this one does last a while, like it's more than just a little short series, that'd be cool. But if it's not, I'm still find a little mini series, a little short series with this. It's cool. Uh, this is written by this what's this thing? Ooh, the writer for this is Zach Gorman, who I don't know of, and the artist is Will Robson, who I feel like I've seen this art before, because this art does seem familiar. So he probably would be twice if he had drawn something else or something else out now that I've read because it does look familiar. I don't know what book it is, but I can, I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, he does. It does seem familiar. So yeah, the fifth issue is about um, is about them trying to get like these guys come in because like, hey, you using the Avengers name or whatever, and we need to own a ship of it and uh, uh, and like he gets the name back for the Great Lake Avengers. So they get the name back. So he's putting the team back together, and he calls um big uh what's the name Big Bursa, who's another member of the team. He tries to call Scorpio, but he's not answering because he puts it like Avengers and stuff. Uh, and then we get uh the other guy uh Dorman, who's actually not a bad. I like he I like the way he looks. Like a lot of characters actually like their costumes and stuff. They walk with who they are. Dorman looks like a guy who doesn't look goofy. He looks like he could be a character. He's actually really. Like a decent strong character. And then the only other characters we have are uh, eventually they go, they get a headquarters, place an old rundown warehouse where they have to build, and then we see villains have attacked attacked and this girl who's jawing, who eventually looks like he's gonna become another one, we can turn into a wolf creature. After he the house, they'll have to attack and he starts attacking people. And then we see at the grave, uh, there's another person uh, who's at the um, place. I guess, like, is it also a part of the team or something? Because he has Mr. Mortar's phone. He's the other character, Mr. Mortar, aka Craig Hollis, cannot be killed but can become very, very bored. He can't die, he's basically a mortal, like, anytime he dies, he just comes back. That's power, I think it's a kind of. A power you can do some good stuff with. Uh, the Great Lake Avengers first appeared in the Avengers West Coast way back in the day in the 90s or late. probably late 80s is when that came out, so yeah. And they've been around. They've had, I know, like one of the mini series at least, and that's one they had cool on the team. I actually want to read it. It's very cool. And I have also issue two, what continues the stuff. And basically, in this issue, Mister Immortal becomes because uh, he's underground. Because he was like, I'm underground under here for so long, under this coffin. I can't really. I mean, even if I do die, I come back. So it's not that whatever. Because he wants to. He has somebody who's like, he pays somebody to come in and give water and stuff. So everyone die, get set the dehydration, and the other members of the team get go into the place like a bar, whatever club place, and Barton start fighting, and then they go into jail. And we find out that the one girl who turned into the wolf has a brother who's turning into a whale or something, and we find out in the in the prison, um, the wolf girl is now there too, and she turns into a werewolf, and then she becomes a part of the. She becomes a part of the Great Lake Avengers. I like how Steve's like, who? Like, I never heard of you guys. Probably not, but still, it's weird that you're saying who. Like, they say Avengers in the name, and then they can use that trademark. They are, like, an Avenger team. An official Avenger team, I really think it's cool. But then we see the guy who owns the club. Uh, he, we saw he was wearing, like, this Max. This thing, like, it's very, uh... Oh, he's wearing this, like, it's very demon mask. It's a, he looks like a villain. Like he's a guy who's up to no good, and I don't know why they trust him. And he might not actually be a real demon. It looks like he's putting on a mask, but it could be also he's taking off um, 
his regular like face. So looking on your map, but you look here at these hands, and it doesn't show me anything on. But yeah, it's still it's a great second issue, and the third issue is the cover with Mr. Moore popping out of the grave. Uh, really cool. I like to see this is one I would definitely uh like you might want to get cheap because it's one of the comics that probably some people don't like. Comics like these are the ones that's like hard to be like, oh, I recommend this. If you've ever read Great Lake Avengers and like them or like the team or know them and like them, then yeah, I say if you like the Great Lake Avengers, you gotta like the book. I do think it's a fun book. One of those books, like these are books I guess Marla the books that a lot of people say Marla's had too many comics coming out and I would say yes. But how many of them are Oh, they, uh, how many of them actually good or kind of, for me, it's like, I like most Marvel and DC books. DC's just been killing it right now, and Marvel, I, just, I like most books anyway. I can kind of just read it, kind of get enjoy it for the fun. But this one was really fun. I, I definitely want to get more of this one. I like this one. If you wanted to find it, you find it cheap, you want to check it out, or give it, like, oh, if you got to come to maybe read a couple pages, just see what you think of it, see if it's something you are interested in. Because I think it's fun. That's it for this video, guys. You can like and share the video, subscribe for more videos by me, Epic Epic Games, more comic, gaming, anime, and movie related videos. You can check out my main channel with you covers, parodies, music related stuff on there, and other skits, animation, stuff like that. Check out my description. Uh, check in the description for all my like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all my links are in the description for those, and you can always definitely see you next week, guys. Bye!